Good evening, councillors, and good evening to those viewing from home. Um, we have an absence of our chair tonight due to ill health, so Councillor Price is not going to be with us, and as vice chair, I'm stepping into the role, so um, you'll have to put up with me. Um, first off, on our agenda, we have apologies from absence. As I've just said, we've got Councillor Price. We've also received apologies from Councillor Jason Jones and Councillor Thomas Jay. Um, looking around the room, I don't think we, 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 we need any more um, apologies, but have we got any to receive? No? Nope. Dan Maycock, Council and John, Wade. and John Wade. We'll treat those as, well, we'll see what happens over the next few minutes, but they are missing in action. Next item on the agenda is the minutes of the previous meeting. There are two sets of minutes. We have the minutes of the licensing committee meeting held on the 19th of December. Um, can I have a proposer and seconder for those, please? Take Councillor Clements and Councillor Wood. All those in favour? Carried. And we have the licensing subcommittee meeting held on the 13th of December. Um, we've just got, uh, can we have a proposer and a seconder? Uh, Councillor Wadrup and Councillor Thurgood. And from those who were present, all those in favour? That's carried as well. Thank you. The next item of the agenda is declarations of interest. I've got an announcement to make, which I'll do in a moment. Does anybody have any declarations of interest to make? No? Okay. The announcement is to remind members to take part in the refresher training that's on the LGA website. And once you've completed that training, and we'll ask for the link to be sent out if that's possible, and once you've completed that refresher training, can you just notify demo services, send them a copy of the certificate or whatever process it is that confirms that you've had it, screenshot, however you want to choose to do it, just notify demo services so that, so that that can go on the training record. It is, I don't know whether it is a formal requirement or a request that members do the refresher training. I'm just looking at licensing officers. It's a recommendation, a strong recommendation. Okay. Um, so if you can make sure that if you are minded to, to get that sent off to demo services. With that, we'll move on to the final item on the agenda, agenda item five, which is our street traders policy for 24-25. And uh, I'll hand over to officers to deliver that report. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Chair. Members may recall that on the 11th of September 2023, the draft street trading policy was brought before this committee. At that committee, members considered the options in relation to areas to be considered consent streets and resolved that the draft policy be consulted upon and brought back to this committee to consider any responses received. Consultation on the draft policy was between the 20th of October 23 and the 15th of December 23. Details of who were consulted are contained in Appendix 3. No responses to the consultation were received. The recommendation before the committee today is that members recommend to full council that they consider the draft street trading policy as suitable for adoption and that full council consider the area to be considered consent street suitable for adoption and to adv advertise the areas for consent once adopted. Thank you. Thank you for that. So there's two recommendations before us, as you've just heard and can see in the report presented to us. We've already gone through this street traders policy some time ago. Uh, has anybody got any questions of this policy that they wish to put to officers? No? Okay, so have we got any comments or statements about the policy? Councillor Clements. Yeah, can, Sarah, can you just read out the what ADIAS has put in the report about the um, outdoor events, just so everyone's familiar, unless we've, just in case they've missed it. <coughs> The 
the definition of authorised event. An event that is organised by Tamworth Borough Council or an independent event organiser who has made payment to Tamworth Borough Council for the hire of council-owned land for the proposed event and will commit to provide details of public liability insurance and food and hygiene ratings if required to the arts and events team. That's the, the um, definition of the authorised event which will then <coughs> exclude them from obtaining a formal street trading consent. Content? Yeah. Content. Anybody else? Councillor Thurgood. Thank you, Vice Chair. Um, one thing that I'm reading through it, how do we actually uh, view um, people that are coming around with a duffel bag or a hold door? Uh, knocking on your door saying um, we want to sell this at your doorstep uh, it could be people that have been let out on parole or, or, or whatever yeah that isn't actually covered under the street trading policy it mm. would be covered under the house to house regulations um, for peddlers in the street they are covered by a peddler certificate issued by the police yeah um, we are always about, we have got eyes about, mm -hmm. so we will make the necessary checks if we see um, any traders trading where they shouldn't and obviously take the appropriate action. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm looking again for any questions or comments. Okay, we will then take on board the two recommendations, we will take them on block, that the licensing committee recommend to full council that they consider the draft street trading policy as, a su as suitable for adoption, and the second recommendation that the licensing committee recommend to full council that they consider the area to be considered consent streets suitable for adoption and to advertise the areas for consent once adopted. Okay, are we happy with that? Okay, so can I have a proposer for those two recommendations? Councillor Clements, Councillor Thurgood beat Councillor Wadrup. All those in favour? That is carried. And um, unfortunately, that must mean the end of tonight's meeting. Thank you to officers. Thank you to councillors, thank you to demo services and thank you to those viewers at home.